Evening all. Now I've not had a chance to open my post for a couple of days, so let's do it right now. It's post bag. So this is a Matek uh, USB power monitor, working voltage four and a half to five point seven volts DC, maximum three amps. Now this came from Banggood. It's basically a charger doctor, but I'm really hoping that this has some sort of memory so that it can measure power bank battery capacity. Well, I'm a bit mystified because it has capacity, output capacity add up to value in real time, count from UPM, that's the USB power monitor, and device connection through disconnection. Well, I have no idea what that means, but there is also a total capacity. So how that differs from capacity, I don't know. But down here under notes, it says capacity will be cleared after the device is unplugged. That's a bit of a worry. Well, anyway, let's uh, switch it on and see what happens. This thing's going to show me the percentage, then the voltage. Now the uh, UPM or the uh, USB power monitor, as it's called at the top there, comes on. There's a very bright blue LED. There's a switch here which cycles through amps. There's an annoying beep, watts, milliamp hours, total milliamp hours. Oh, this thing's powered off. So what I need to do is turn it on and uh, set it so that it doesn't auto power off. I'll just do that. So as I was saying, volts, amps, watts, milliamp hours, total milliamp hours, and some sort of clock thing. Now the clock's not counting, so I assume it'll start counting when I start drawing some current. So I'm going to plug this into my Nexus 4 phone, which is here. I'm filming this with it. So let's leave it on the clock setting and plug in my phone. Well, that took a long time. Um, okay, so it's flipped to amps and the phone's drawing 0.82 amps. I suppose that sounds about right. Okay, what else have we got? Around about four watts, uh, three milliamp hours, and I guess that's counting up. It is. Total milliamp hours, same number by all accounts, and the clock is now running. And then the other parameter is voltage. So that's all interesting, but what happens to milliamp hours if, well, let's first find out what happens if I unplug the phone. <laughs> it's still counting, which is bizarre because it's not plugged in. And it says end and end flashes furiously. I guess that means that the device that was plugged in has ended its charging, so it's no longer drawing charge. Now, because this is still plugged in, I'm expecting that the milliamp hour count is still there. 10 milliamp hours, total milliamp hours, and it charged for 53 seconds. That's fine, but now will it retain this data if I unplug it? 10 milliamp hours. Unplugged, plugged back in. No. And no retention of total. So it's not quite what I wanted because what I wanted was to test the capacity of the power bank itself by just drawing power out continuously until it runs out and shuts down. And then this thing to retain the information on how much capacity, how many milliamp hours uh, the power bank contains. So it doesn't look like it's going to do that. That's a bit of a shame. Now I'm just uh, charging the phone again, drawing a few milliamp hours. Let's end that by unplugging the phone. It does take its time, doesn't it? Okay, that's fine. I just wanted to see how the uh, milliamp hours and the total milliamp hours deviate from each other. 
So I'm just going to do, oh, well, that's held the 8 milliamp hours. What I was expecting it to do was to go back to zero. And then by having a, a second charging session, the total would be retained, but milliamp hours would start again. Oh, it has actually. Okay, that's fine. So milliamp hours starts again. Total milliamp hours is cumulative. So that makes sense. That's what it is. Okay, so this is great at um, checking devices like phones, see how much uh, power or capacity they've drawn from your USB source, but it's not going to be any good for checking the capacity of power banks. Oh, well. So here's this item on Banggood. Uh, today's price is £5.58 and there's the SKU number and the name. So next we have a PC rear mirror. What on earth is a PC rear mirror? Why do they keep calling these items PC rear mirror? It's totally weird. Okay, let's uh, see what it really is. No. I didn't quite go through the envelope. Well, it is. Oh, it's some more of these um, LED drivers. Now, I think these are the MR11. Is it MR11 or MR16? Um, I think this is the remaining one. I ordered four different types. I've shown three, I think. So I think this is the one that just drives a single one watt LED. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'll, I'll just have a quick look. Well, I've just noticed that on the envelope it says three times one watt LED. So I think the idea with this driver is that you put three one watt LEDs in series. But I must admit I'm getting mightily confused now because I've got a whole plethora of different uh, LED drivers. And I'm starting to lose track of what's what. Now it appears that what this is, this is the one that's just come in, is um, something that I bought ages ago. There's some details just down here, but I purchased that on the 5th of July. And it's now, well, coming up to the end of August. This thing's taken about seven or eight weeks to arrive, or six or seven weeks, certainly. And uh, what's been sent, this, looks nothing like... The item on the listing which is that the item on the listing looks a bit more like one of these down here and what's been sent is much bigger and I've just uh, lifted up the um, electrolytic capacitor there and I don't know whether you can see this let me just uh, get a torch actually I've got one here this is well it's got the chip is an XL 6001. So here's a quick test. Uh, I've hooked up three 1 watt LEDs and it certainly seems to be happy driving those. So that's definitely what it is. It's a three 1 watt LED driver. Um, it's possible, of course, it could drive two or one of these LEDs just as well because it is just a constant current driver. But uh, anyway, I've ad identified what it is. I'm not going to buy any more LED drivers for a while until I uh, make some notes and catalogue what I've got. And uh, what I've got is this one, which drives a single 10 watt LED, uses the PT4115 driver. This one drives a single 3 watt LED and has a 34063 uh, switch mode regulator. This one actually is a step up because it's driving four, uh, I think this is four one watt LEDs. Uh, that's also got the 34063. And then this one that's just turned up, which has this XL6001. So the item I purchased on eBay is this, although of course it looks very different from this. It's a three times one watt LED built in driver, power supply, 12 volts. 99 cents, so it was only 60p, uh, free postage, and that came from Rabbit SHCF. Right, well now we have here a recorder. What's a recorder? Let's find out. 
Well, it's not a recorder. Now, actually, this is for my use for filming. So in the bottom, it has a now I think tripod thread is quarter inch Whitworth, if I remember from days gone by. So a little threaded insert so that this can be mounted on top of a tripod. And then you've got this sort of springy arm thing so that uh, my phone can sit in that and then it holds the phone, sits on top of a tripod and I can film my videos. Now I'm not expecting much because this was only uh, 99p but it has to be better than what I'm using at the moment which is uh, a piece of wood and some of these uh, metal brackets clamped to the desk with uh, a clamp which is a bit uh, half-hearted and then the phone just literally sits on that metal bracket like that so hopefully that'll be better and then I'll get some sort of a desk clamp thing which has the uh, uh, bolt I suppose that goes into that thread on to which that will sit that's what that is so here it is on eBay and as I say it was just 99p free postage and I got it from OK Cat Fair. And so that is today's post bag.